What a week of poker. Tournaments have been playing out all over the world, in London, Vina Del Mar, and online on PokerStars 2, with the Micro Millions 4 series currently in full swing. Yet amid all that action, the Sunday Million rolls on. 8,389 players took part in this Sunday Million, and this is a look at your final nine. Hello, and welcome to the Sunday Million Highlight Show. I'm David Tuckman. Three Canadians make the final table. Legito is our chip leader at 19.45 million at the start of the final table. We're going to jump ahead to hand number four, where the blinds are 200,000, 400,000. Total prize pool over $1.6 million. First place, nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Maisha from the Ukraine. Not going to play the ace-deuce. Programmed. No, thank you. Gollerhead. Gollerhead, by the way, has come close to making a major Sunday final table twice. He finished 15th in the Sunday Million a couple of years ago and bubbled the Sunday warm-up. So, congratulations, Gollerhead. You have finally made a Sunday major final table. Quite an accomplishment. Action on Gustavo, 9911. No, thank you. Rum run with the fours. He's going to raise. He's got about 30 big blinds. Might see a three bet here, and you do. Three bet all in from Scrige Poss with the ace queen. I think Rum Run's going to call this. It's about three and a half million. Pot is 6.7 million. I think you have to call with any pair. Rum Run makes the call. And it's ace queen against the pair. Eight six five, two clubs out there. Scratch pass with the ace of clubs. Tournament life on the line needs an ace or a queen on the river. Not going to happen for him. It's the four. Rum run hits his set, and with that, eliminates Scratch pass in ninth place. Scratch pass, by the way, he has won the bigger fifty five before, and now he adds a ninth place finish in the Sunday Million. Takes home a little over thirteen thousand dollars. Blind still two hundred thousand, four hundred thousand. Rum Run takes the chip lead with that last hand. Gustavo raises under the gun plus one with eights. Rum Run's got kings. There's the three bet. Legito not going to play. Gold RU with seven deuce. Not going to play that one either, I bet. Maisha. Pretty sure he'll pass. And this is going to probably fold around the Gawler head in the big blind who has ace-king. Awfully tough not to shove here if you're Gawler head. Action does fold around to Gawler head from Germany, and he shoves all in for just under 10 million. About 25 big blinds. It's a good, it's a good shoving stack here. Unfortunately for him, he's walked into Kings. Rum Run makes the call. Pot is 21.1 million chips. As you can see, Gawler head behind and at risk. Gawler head needs running cards or an ace. A heart or an ace will do it. Deuce of Spades, the blank on the river, is going to seal Gollerhead's fate. And once again, congratulations to Gollerhead, finally making a final table of a Sunday major. Unfortunately for him, his run ends in eighth place. He'll take home $18,455, and we are down to seven. Blinds now $250,000, $500,000. Rum Run taking control right now. He raises a little bit over 2x. And of course, when I say 2x, I mean two times the big blind. Imagine Gold RU is going to shove here. There's the shove. About 14 big blinds. I think Rum Run can fold this. I don't know if he will, but I think he can. 
About six million to call. He makes the call. Pot is over fifteen million, and for the first time, Run Run is behind. Gold, are you at risk? Ten four four. Two clubs out there. There's the ace. Run Run needs a jack now. Seven of spades, and Gold RU doubles up to 15.2 million. Rum Run back to 20.8 million. And with that, Legito takes the chip lead once again. Gold RU raises 2x. Programmed. With about 10 big blinds. I think this is a pretty standard shove. You don't have a ton of fold equity, but you don't really care with pocket eights because you can get called by worse. It'll be 4 million to win 7 million, not quite 2 to 1. And obviously, we can see Rum Run has Ace King, and Rum Run actually folds. Worried about the player behind him, he folds. Gold RU makes the call. Programmage Tournament Life on the line. Jack Nine Deuce, two spades out there. Gold RU with a gut shot and the overcards. Needs a King, a Queen, or a 10 to eliminate Programmage. Three of spades not going to help Gold RU and program it doubles up to 11.1 million. Still seven players remain. Program it under the gun with ace 10. He's going to play it safe. Play it a little bit conservative and he folds. Gustavo 9-1-1. He'll pass. Rum run one. Not going to race from the cutoff seat, and it folds around to Legito, our chip leader with ace 10 on the button. Pretty standard raise spot. Gold RU passes. And Mysia with the king jack. You might see a shove here for 11 big blinds. Sure enough, you do. It's actually 12 big blinds, and I think Legito has to make this call, and he does make the call. I know I can see the cards, but I think you realize that when you're raising from the button, your range is so wide, and Mycia knows that as well. So I think Mycia's three-bet shoving range is really wide as well. So Mycia at risk, picks up a pair of jacks, but that's not enough. Means a king or a jack on the river, or he'll be gone in seventh place. King on the river, and Mycia survives. Back up to 12.6 million, Legito at 15.2 million. We talk about it all the time, how interesting that button versus the blind dynamic is. And I think when you get a button raise, I think the blinds more often than not think that player is stealing and will shove a lot wider. My guess is Mysa probably would have shoved with any ace, any pair, and maybe even a lot lighter. Long story short, Legato has to make the call with ace-10. Unfortunately for him, it just didn't hold up. Davida, 75, raises to 3x. It's a big raise with aces, especially considering he only started the hand with 12 big blinds. Davida, 75, won the bigger $162 tournament pretty much exactly a year ago. Programmed raises all in with the ace jack. Obviously, Davidas is going to make this call. Pot is 12.4 million. And Davida 75 in great shape to double up. You can see the percentages. Oh, wow. All clubs out there. And just like that, Programmed flops the joint. Davida 75 drawing dead. He'll be gone in seventh place from Israel. He'll take home $33,000. Wow. Tough way to go out. Really tough way to go out. You raise 3x, a guy shoves, you get exactly what you want with the aces, and unfortunately for you, you're gone in seventh place. 
Pogramid now at 17 million, and we are down to just six players. Blinds at 300,000, 600,000. Gustavo in the cutoff seat with the ace. I think you can shove here. I really do, and he does. Six-handed, you're in the cutoff seat with ace five. I think that's a shove spot. Unfortunately for him, he walks into a pair. I think Legito is going to make this call. You see a lot of players not make this call because they're worried about losing chips. They want to climb that pay ladder. But I think Legito is going to do it. He does actually, in fact, shove for 14.4 million. I should say effectively shoving. And it's sixes against ace five. Gustavo at risk. Gustavo can now catch an ace or a 10. An ace, a 10, a jack, or a king. But the three of clubs is not going to do it for him. And Gustavo, 9-9-1-1. Nine, nine, one, one is gone in sixth place. We lose our first Canadian. He takes home just over $50,000. Now, if you want to play in this tournament for free, PokerStars gives you that opportunity. That's right, free, no money, but you need the password. Stick with us. He's playing poker! Competition everywhere. We are poker. We are poker indeed. Welcome back to the Sunday Million Highlights Show. I'm David Tuckman. We are down to our final five. Legito, our chip leader. Gold are you, our short stack. And we're going to jump ahead just a couple of hands to hand 35. First place, nearly a quarter of a million dollars. Blinds are still 300,000, 600,000. Misa 555 has 5-5. Five five. How can you not raise? And he does. He makes it 1.2 million. Programming gets out of the way. You imagine Rum Run will get out of the way. And now it's over to Legito. And this is an interesting spot with sevens. I think you can make an argument for raising, going with the three bet. And I think you can make an argument for calling. This is opponent based. And obviously, knowing your image, knowing your opponent's image. How many chips you have, all sorts of things factor into what you want to do with sevens. Legito, by the way, is Renato Almeida, and Renato makes the call. Pot is three million chips. Jack, six deuce, two spades out there. You imagine this will go check, bet, call. So Renato Almeida, who is Legito, he was a runner-up in a Scoop Medium event back in 2010. He's also made several Super Tuesday final tables. So there's the bet from Misa. There's the call. Pot is 5.77 million. Turn to six. Now, Legito has a seven of spades in his hand. Misa with no spade. Get a check from Legito. Over to Misa. And it's an interesting spot because I know a lot of players are probably inclined to check this back, but I think you might want to consider turning your fives into a bluff. Unless Legito specifically has threes or fours, it's hard to imagine Legito having a worse hand than fives right now. Misa does check it back. Four spades on the river. Legito with the baby flush. He's going to check over to Misa, and now if Misa wants to win this hand, he's going to have to turn his hand into a bluff. He tries to bluff. I don't think he's bet enough, though. 1.8 million. It's a small call-me value bet, but unfortunately, those bets usually get called. And in this case, Legito makes the call, wins the hand, and Misa down to 12 million. Legito at 26 million. Our chip leader, Rum Run. With pocket kings at 28 million. 
There's the raise. He's going to make it 3x. Not messing around. Maisa with the ace seven of clubs. And he shoves for 8.3 million. Obviously, Rum Run's going to make this call. Hand 47, by the way. We are speeding along at this final table. Pot is 17.2 million. Maisa at risk and behind, and way behind right now. He needs running cards. Top set for Rum Run. And Misa 555 is drawing dead. He'll be gone in fifth place from the Ukraine. Takes home $67,000. Irrelevant deuce of hearts on the river. Rum run up to $37.1 million. Starting to give himself a little bit of distance between him and the rest of the field. Blinds 400000 800000 Legito is going to raise. He makes it 2x. Programmed's going to shove. And I see nothing wrong with Programmed's shove. I really do. I like the shove. Unfortunately for him, lakito has got ace-jack, and he's going to make the call. So it's ace-jack against ace-nine. Programmed at risk. Pot over 27.5 million chips, and both players hit their ace. Programmed needs running hearts or a nine. Jack of spades is going to seal his fate. That is going to do it. Legito wins the hand, eliminating Programmed in fourth place. The Canadian from Baker Lake takes home $83,890. Three players remain in our Sunday Million. Get a raise from Rum Run. All the aces are dead. Legito gets out of the way. Obviously, Gold RU is not going to get out of the way. I thought it was quite interesting that Legito did not three bet, though, from the small blind with an ace. Gold RU playing it slow. He checks over to Rum Run, who's going to shove all in with the ace. Obviously, Gold RU is not going to fold. He makes the call, and uh, Rum Run's in pretty bad shape. King of Diamonds on the turn, and Gold RU is going to double up to 27 million chips. Rum Run now our short stack, just like that. By the way, no deal has been made. I love when they don't make a deal. It makes it even more exciting for me. By the way, third place will take home 125,000. First place, nearly a quarter of a million. So a lot at stake, and of course, a prestigious title. Get a raise here from Gold RU. Legito makes the call. We're at hand 84. King 5-4. Both players miss. Ace 10 still in the lead. Gold RU is going to bet 1.6 million. Legito is going to take one off. Probably thinks there's a pretty good chance he might have the best hand. Interesting turn card. It gives Legito a straight draw, but it gives Gold RU the nut flush draw. Ace 10 still in the lead, though. And Gold RU continues to fire. I thought you might see him check that one back. But it continues to fire. And Legito gives it up. Gold RU up to 29.3 million. Legito just ahead of him. And Rum Run at 24 million. Really, it's anybody's tournament. And the fact that these three players are so close makes it even more interesting the fact that they did not make a deal. Pot 3.4 million. 8.83. King high still the best hand. Rum run in position. Continuation bet from Gold RU. 
Rum Run's not going to go anywhere. Five on the turn changes nothing. Rum Run. He's going to bet his king high. And he's up to 27.7 million. We started with 8,389 players, and we are down to our final three. And it is anybody's tournament. Rum Run completes. And Legito is going to take that as a sign of weakness and is going to raise. And Rum Run is going to 3-bet. The sizing, though, is a little bit strange. I mean, it's only $1.6 million back to Legito to make this call. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Rum Run's creativity, limping in with the ace and then 3-betting when your opponent senses weakness. I just, I size my 3-bet a little bit more. I don't want to give my opponent odds to make that call. It was only $1.6 million to win $6.6 million. And with all that said, ace three off suit, a very tough hand to play out of position post flop. Rum run checks, Legito checks back. Turn brings the nine of spades, Legito picks up a straight draw. Action on rum run. He bets 5.6 million. He wants to end this hand right here and right now. And he does just that. Legito gives it up. Rum run up to nearly 32 million chips. We are three-handed at the Sunday Million. We are 10,000 people in Brazil holding our breath. We are alone. Hunters. Hunted. We are committed. Blessed. Calm. We are all in. We are poker. Welcome back to the Sunday Million Highlight Show. If you are waiting for the password, here it is. Make sure you get in on the action, the online poker show free roll. And who knows, maybe we'll be talking about you next week here on the Sunday Million. Hand 87, this is what it looked like. Really, it's anybody's tournament. Goldar, you are short stack. Only 6 million behind the chip leader. But we're going to jump ahead a few hands, and he's going to give up a little bit more. Goldar, you now 12 million behind our chip leader, Rum Run. Blind still 400,000, 800,000. And Gold RU has picked up aces again. Three handed, he's picked up aces twice. Gold RU raising with aces. Rum Run makes the call. Two spades out there. Queen 9 9. Rum Run about a 3 to 1 dog with the flush draw. Pot is 3.4 million. Once again, this is hand 92. Continuation bet from Gold RU. Rum Run's going to make the call. Turns a queen. Scary card for Gold RU. Rum Run's going to try to represent. Goldar U makes the call. Pot now 9.8 million. River's the king of clubs. Jack 10 gets there now. Aces can really beat very little. Except exactly what Rum Run has. And Rum Run's going to bet 4 million into 9.8 million. 
and Goldar U is going to make the call. And just like that, the pendulum swings. Goldar U, our chip leader. Hand 94. Man, Goldar U is getting the hit in the face by the deck. Now he's got ace king. A raise from run run. A three bet from Goldar U. 2.4 million back to rum run. He's going to make the call. Ten high flop. Ace king still in the lead. He's going to check. And rum run checks it back. Turns a spade. Neither player with a spade in their hand. Goldar U is going to bet 1.6 million. Rum Run's not going anywhere. And the river is a spade. Goldar U checks over to Rum Run. You got to turn your hand into a bluff now. And he's going to bet 8 million. It's a big bet. He's going to try to buy this one. I just don't see how Goldar U can make this call. He's going to give it up. And Rum Run, once again, takes the chip lead. Back and forth. This is a great battle. Rum Run makes it 3x with the 7s. Goldar U with the 6-5. He's going to 3-bet. He makes it 5.6 million. And these two players, Goldar U and Rum Run, going back and forth, back and forth. Rum Run's going to shove all in. Goldar U has to give it up. And Rum Run finally up over the 40 million chip mark. Starting to distance himself. Legido staying out of the fray, at least for now. There is a $55,000 difference between third place and second place. And once again, no deal has been made. Flop is queen high. Rum run with a gut shot. Plus backdoor clubs. Goldar U bets 1.6 million. Rum Run makes the call. Turn to 10. Got to be a scary card for Goldar U. He's going to check. And Rum Run's going to bet 800,000. Now, he tried this earlier when the board double paired Queen Queen 9 9. And that small little bet just doesn't get your opponent to fold ace highs. And certainly not going to get your opponent to fold a queen. The river's the nine, though, and Rum Run has hit the straight. And this is definitely a small value bet. Please call me bet. And, as we said earlier, those small please call me bets, more often than not, get called. It's been an absolute roller coaster ride for all the players here at the final table. A lot of action as we take a look at a graph from the start of the final table all the way to hand 105 rum run in a commanding position right now. But as we've seen so many times in No Limit Hold'em, anything can and usually does happen. Get a raise here from rum run. Legito. Waiting patiently for a big hand, finally has it. Just a question of how does he play it. Is he going to 3-bet this, or is he going to call and try to trap? Nope, he's going to 3-bet the 6.2 million. Goldar U gets out of the way. Back over to Rum Run. Rum Run's going to make the call. I'm surprised. 
and flops a queen. And this could get Legito in trouble. Only one overcard to his pair. Hard to put his opponent on a queen. Pot is already 13.4 million. Legito's going to check. Rum Run's going to bet 2.4 million. This is a tough spot for Legito. Out of position with Jax. There's one over card. Four clubs. I mean, I just don't see how you can fold Jax here. Especially with the line that Legito is taking. He's not deep enough either. Rum Run's going to shove all in. Make it look like he's trying to buy the pot. And I think I would call if I'm Legito. And Legito makes this call. Renato Almeida. Once again, the runner-up in a scoop medium event needs a jack on the river. And that, my friends, is not a jack. The three of hearts and Renato Almeida, Legito, gone in third place. He'll take home $125,000 and add a third-place finish in the Sunday Million to his already impressive poker resume. But we are heads up. 8,389 players down to just two. Goldar, you shoves at the ace. You can't blame him. Rum Run obviously going to call it the ace king, and this could be it. Hand 113. Goldar, you all in at risk. We could have a chop pot here. Goldar, you looking for a seven, a deuce, or a five? Six of hearts, not going to do it for him, and Goldar, you is gone in second place. Don't cry for him, though. Goldar Yu from the Russian Federation takes home $180,000. But our champion, the Sunday Million winner, Rum Run 1 from Canada, takes home nearly a quarter of a million dollars, defeating 8,388 players in the process. He didn't actually eliminate all of them, but, well, at the end of the day, he stands above them all. Well, this tournament was played on St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day to all my Irish friends out there. And with St. Patrick's Day means spring is around the corner, which means the Spring Championship of Online Poker is around the corner. Look for the highlights here on PokerStars.tv. Until next time, I'm David Tuckman. Reach for the stars.